Hi, I'm Mark Wood. I'm a professional freelance cartoonist and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw cartoons and caricatures. We're going to draw Lois from Family Guy now. So we start with a circle for the eye, first eye, and we're going to do another circle a little bit further over. So we do another one there, it can be our second eye. The nose is nice and easy, it's just literally a bump that comes down just slightly over the second eye and back in and just a little bit of a tiny little line at the bottom. Moving back to our eyes, we shall fill in the eyelids. So it's just a straight line across there and along here. But you do a little bit come off there, off the side of the eye for our eyelashes. And then we fill in the dots for her eyes. Moving on to our mouth. If we do it initially, if we just do the smile like that, then we fill in the lips over the top, which is easier. So you can just do the mark there and come up for the lip, a little bit more. And then this one, like that. So you've got the basic um, inside of her face. Now we're going to do the outside. So we come out with the cheek, and you come out in a curvy line around here that comes in sort of just, just below the mouth a little bit. If you don't get it in the right place you join pencil, you can always just move it along a little bit just to get it where you want it. Thicken that up. I'm going to come down just a touch there. We're going to go up and do the other side of her face before we move on to her body. She come up and round. You come up level, sort of with the bottom of the nose, and you do a circle for her earring. And then we're going to come another line that comes up here just above the top of her eyes. You do a curvy line there. And then we're going to do the fringe on her hair. So you do a line curve like that. And another one that comes down just nearly touching the eye, like that. From here, you move to the center of where you've just done the sort of the parting in the hair and you come down round about the side of the face and you come just skimming just the cheek there and you come back in. This is her hair there. And then for the other side of the hair, coming off of this line here, you can come up, and then you come round, and you follow in, and then you come down to roughly where the earring is, and then you come back in to the face. If the line is slightly high or low, it won't really make much difference, as long as it's roughly in the right place. Now moving on to her body and her neck. So we've got the lines here already from her neck and we should just join that line to that one ready for the collar on her shirt of which is like that. From there you come off and you do just a little curvy line there. You come up and just join it in behind the back of the neck there. Same on the other side, but you do it curve like that. And then we're going to come down from the shoulder here and you just do a roundy curve line like that. But we go all the way down. This is going to go right down to her shirt and her hand and everything, like that. And then you come down on the inside, do another line just a short distance from this one, down and like that. And we'll leave it like that for a minute. We move over the other side now and move towards the front of the shirt. She come out and you come back down and the shirt at the bottom sort of comes out here like for her hips and her waist then you want to do like a thing like that and like an upside down V shape coming in like this just straighten that one up and get a little bit more room here for the arm then we've got the basic outline of the shirt now if you want to do the um, middle of the shirt where the buttons are you basically just sort of follow this line down like that and join it onto the bottom just doing a few circles for the buttons. Now for the outside of the arm you come along, this is the arm, you can't really see much of it and the hand's going to be on the hip anyway so you can only see a small amount and you come in here and the show is going to be rolled up so you've got the rolled up sleeves with two little lines there and then the arm will come in there, a straight line more or less just to represent that it's on a hip. Now this arm we need to separate the shirt from the um, arm. So we're going to do a line sort of here, a little bit higher or lower, doesn't really make any difference again, and just thicken that line up there. 
Then we're going to do the uh, rolled up sleeves. Same as the other side, but you just can see both sides on these. So you do it round like that. As you come down here, this actual line is a little bit thick, but if you've got something like that, you can just bring it in a little bit. So we're coming more to the wrist. So just thicken it up so you know which line you're working with. And you're gonna come down this line here for the hand. So you just do the fingers. You come in there, you do another finger. And one more finger, round, and then you want on this one, you come up, but then you want to bump out for the side of the hand and just join it onto the arm. Now slightly at the back here, you can just see where the shirt comes up here. So if the line continued on, you come from there, so you just follow it up, just not touching the paper so you can see, and that's where the shirt will come out, and then you just join back up with the body. Now you can come down here, which is the leg, and a line here to represent the other leg, and down there, and I think we're just about finished, just there, thicken up a couple of these lines, and that is how to draw Lois from Family Guy.